This is the last head frame on the Masaba Iron Range. We're at the Bruce Mine Trailhead Park. And this park was started 10 years ago. It's a National Historic Site because what you see now is one, isn't what was here. It was all woods. It was just a little trail coming in here. And so we started. I live down the road on Highway 5 here and I drive by every day, go get my mail and stuff like that. So I could hardly see the place because there's so much trees in a way. What happened, there's rumors going around town that they were talking about tearing us down, scrap iron. And then I talked to a few people and said that this is about the last one on the range and I didn't want to see it go by. So that's where we got started on this here project. It was going to be torn down in 1978 and a group of people in Chisholm, they saved it. They got it registered as a National Historic Site and then it sat, well, until 10 years ago. This head frame, which is one of many, but the last one standing on the Iron Range here, it worked from 1926 to 1938 that it produced. So it's a uh, significant thing and a tribute to the immigrants, mainly, of the mi iron miners who came here to work. And my parents were both immigrants, Swedish immigrants. My dad was a carpenter and a painter, worked in the underground and in the open pit. And so I'm heritage of that and I'm thankful for it. And we're glad to have this reproduced because uh, it represents what took place before. We don't have any underground mines working anymore in Minnesota. You know, mining is why our forefathers came. My grandparents came, you know, from the old country, basically for a job. They were immigrants. But mining is part of the history. My sons work in mining, my grandsons work in mining, and uh, it's, it's a way of life, a good way of life. And this is just a little bit of history to remember all those people. We feel this is not just for the town, this is for Minnesota. You know, we can be proud of, of uh, these immigrants that came and were willing to work in a savage and taught us how to work too.